Happy Hunger Games! And may the odds be ever in your favor. She's an amazing character, and I, and I was very passionate about the books before I knew about the movie. So by the time the movie came along, it was, and I met Gary Ross, and and I knew he would just be, be brilliant and make an incredible movie. Together. Together. Okay. It was amazing. Jennifer is so real and like down to earth, and and somebody that has no filter with things they maybe should say or shouldn't say, which is so refreshing because so many times, you know, you meet actresses or actors that are so concerned about how they're being perceived that they aren't really a real person. Jennifer is the opposite of that. She's so much a real person that she forgets that how she's going to be received could be different. Working with her was so freeing and, and she's such an amazing actress that in every scene when you're acting with her, you look into her eyes and you're like, you're Katniss and I'm Peta and we both believe it, so we're gonna, let's do this scene. She looks the part, she is the part, she's, she's uh, an amazing actress. You know, it makes it easier for, for an actor to turn out to work and, and like who you're working with and, and enjoy being there on set with them. And, you know, just seeing what she does in an actress is, is, is amazing. I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute. Uh, I believe we have a volunteer. It was pretty weird to, to when, we, when we shot the reaping scene. And you have, you know, the whole town is basically in grey clothes and, and, you know, it's very grim. And then you have uh, this character, Effie, who, who, who Elizabeth plays, and, and she's done up tremendously, and, and she has a, a crazy outfit on, and it's, uh, yeah, it was an odd thing to see her up on stage in front of us all. It was amazing, because we shot all of the forest stuff first, so we were like two months in the woods, same outfit for me every single day. And then all of a sudden, we were in these sets that were just mind-blowing. They were unbelievable. And seeing Elizabeth, especially in the in the reaping scene when it's just everybody's gray, everybody's blue, everything's sad, and then this vibrant magenta and heels, and it's just, it's such a different world. It was so crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Very consideration. But with, with lots of training, there's uh, running, free running, climbing, hand on hand combat, and yoga. Jennifer did a lot of training, and she's very well trained in, in, in the arts of martial, uh -huh. martial arts that is, um, and also with the bow training and stuff like that. So one day we were on set just kind of messing around, and, and she was like, I can kick over your head. And I was like, I know you can't. She's like, watch. She was throwing a kick over my head, and it literally kicks me right in the temple. And so I actually had like a, like a minor concussion from it. I just don't want to be another piece in their game, you know? For me, what I took away from it the most was kind of reinstating my belief that you need to be who you are as a person and, and stand for what you believe in. Because uh, that's something that I think PETA feels really strongly about, and, and that's something that I've always felt very strongly about. For me, the books, it's, it's about this, this, this amazing girl who provides so much hope and courage to all these people. You know, and allows them to all have the courage to stand up to this evil force and say, you know, this is wrong and we, 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 we don't deserve to live this way. I mean, it's just a really cool story and I think it's kind of a horrible reflection on humanity. And also, it's, it's, it's a fictional world, it's a science fiction world, but it's also, in a sick way, not too far from reality. It's, it's, it's almost believable that, unfortunately, we, we can kind of see ourselves in a future like that. So I just felt like it was an important message for our generation of what, what happens when you lose touch with humanity.